It's the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Welcome to another production here from the Open Mic Broadcast Network. It is our mission to try to bring you some news that you could use. Today is no exception to the rule. Follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And do check out our 24-hour stream on the website, OBN Radio. Dot com. With all that being established, let us jump right into today's episode. Well, we had a very unpredictable wild weekend in the world of baseball throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And I guess the sleeper of the weekend would be the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff stealing the series win in the rubber match on Sunday with an 11-6 to victory over the Southern University Jaguars. They stole that game, exploding for five runs in the sixth inning to cap off the rubber match victory after such a promising week from the Southern Jags with their victory over the LSU Tigers in midweek form. So now... The Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions find themselves with a 4-7 and mark in the Western Division. And if that's sounding familiar, because that's where the Prairie View A&M University Panthers are right now after their weekend series concluded with a victory over Grambling State 9-5 to in the escape match from Tankersley Stadium on the campus of Prairie View A&M University. The Panthers able to to get the win coming from behind in the late innings of the game with some outstanding pitching by Preston Allen to secure the win for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. You had other matchups. FAMU were victorious over the weekend as they were able to hold off the Alabama State Hornets. Alabama State was swept throughout the course of the weekend, and the mystery continues to point in the direction of what's going on with the Hornets. In other Eastern Division matchups, the Alabama A&M Bulldogs were able to secure the rubber match win against the Mississippi Valley Delta Devils by the score of 15 to five to take that series after a surprising win by the Delta Devils on Saturday. Jackson State was able to knock off Bethune-Cookman on Sunday with a score of 19-5. to And the woes continue for the Alcorn State Braves as they were swept on Saturday in a doubleheader to complete the entire series sweep, losing game one by the score of 8-3. to And the final game of the series, the score was 18-8. to There are no scheduled mid-conference matches for Monday. We will break the Tuesday schedule down for you. Lord says the same on tomorrow. Meanwhile, in the world of spring football, Jackson State, FAMU, Southern University, Alabama State, all with some good reviews if you want to believe what they're putting out there because no true coach is going to ever reveal what they're seeing extremely well or extremely bad when it comes to spring football. So you're going to get pretty much the same uh, display of conversation that we need to get better in this area, looking okay in certain areas. But you'll have another plethora of games this weekend. Also failed to mention Texas Southern had their maroon and gray game this past weekend. So up on this week to lie here, of course, we know that the Prairie View A&M University Panthers will have their purple and gold game coming up this weekend on April the 13th. We've got a lot to give you over the course of the week. We'll have our power ranking for baseball throughout the Southwestern Athletic Conference. We're scheduled to hear from Coach Heist Northern and, of course, our basketball guru, Coach Van Petaway. I am going to exit stage left. My time is up, and I must exit stage left. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince, reminding you that you can follow me on X at the Mike Prince Show. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And until the next time, you guys be blessed 
and we'll see you on the other side.